All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So obviously I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by rewriting my equation here. So I get three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. And now on my left hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and factor out three to the power of x. So now I get three to the power of x times one plus one is equal to 12. And one plus one, that's equal to two. So, I get three to the power of x times two is equal to 12. Now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by two. So when these two cancel out and I get three to the power of x is equal to six. Now, if we plug in x equals one, we get three to the power of one, which is equal to three. And if we plug in x equals two, we get three to the power of two, which is equal to nine. So we know that the value of x has to be somewhere in between one and two, because six is between three and nine, meaning that x is gonna be a decimal value. So to find the exact value of x, we're gonna to have to use logarithms. So if I take the log on both sides, I get log three to the power of x is equal to log six. And there are actually three important logarithmic properties that you guys should know. So the first one is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. The second one that you guys should know is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is gonna equal log a plus log b. And finally, if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is gonna equal log a minus log b. So we have log three to the power of x equals log six, and we can use our first property here, log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So I can move x to the front and I get x times log three is equal to log six. Now from here, I can, we wanna isolate x so I can divide both sides by log three. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log six over log three. Now, I'm going to rewrite six as three times two. So I get log three times two over log three. And remember, now we can use our second property, log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So log three times two, that's gonna equal log of three plus log two. And I have this over log three. I can rewrite this as log three over log three plus log two over log three. Now, log three and log three, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to one plus log three, or log two over log three. And log two, that's equal to 0 
And now I have this over 0 0.4771. So this is gonna equal one plus 0 0.6309. And one plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my answer. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So, My equation was 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And I'm going to start, like I started with the first method, by factoring out 3 to the power of x for my left-hand side. So I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, again, I'm going to solve what's in my parentheses. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. And again, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now, remember from I got x is equal to 1.6309. Now I'm going to plug this in. to my 4x. So I get 3 to the power of 1.6309 plus 3 to the power of 1.6309 is equal to 12. And 3 to the power of 1.6309 is 5.9998. And if I add these two together, I get approximately 12. So I get 12 equals 12, and because this is right, I know my solution is right.